Bnei Zmida is a munas chachamim, which means belief in or relying on wise people and their advice. Well, Shal, how do you see that in a practical way, where one can put their ego aside and get advice from another, uh, while at the same time still holding on to their individuality and their own wisdom and their own mind? Yeah, it is a balance, Levi, you're right. And, and, and the word emuna um, in, in Hebrew means belief. It's not knowledge. Just because a person is somebody who I trust as a wise person doesn't mean to say they're always right. And so there are people who I look at in the world. I would take my rabbi, for example, who unfortunately passed away now. But when he was alive, I, I trusted him as a wise man. And so if he said something that didn't make sense to me, I didn't just dismiss it. Sometimes, you know, just people around you, they say something doesn't make sense. I disagree. I wouldn't just disagree. I'd want to go away and think about it and consider it and, and then come back and discuss with him and, and hear what he had to say. And then and, and I would do that, might do that two or three times. Ultimately, if it just didn't make sense to me, I would put it aside and go with what did make sense to me. Because you're right, Levy, you need to maintain your independence. Ultimately, you have to make your own judgments, your own decisions in life. But trusting a wise person to me means that you don't dismiss them too quickly, that you kind of have a sense that if there's somebody who you see as wise, then you take what they say with more gravitas, with more seriousness, and you think it through more before you would just sort of put it aside because it doesn't make sense.